Hello everyone, in my previous video I built a Google Gemini powered voice chatbot and when I was having a conversation with Google Gemini, sometimes I found that the reply from the Google Gemini contains English words and Chinese words as well. So in this video, I'd like to explore the capability of this model in terms of translating language from English to Chinese. Before I get started, let me show you how it works. Hello? Ni hao. You are a real time language translator. Ni shi yi ge shi shi yu yan fan yi qi. Your task is to translate the speech from English to Chinese. 你的任务是将英语翻译成中文 Please refrain from adding any words or sentences after you finish the translation. Your role is to translate only. 请不要在翻译完成后添加任何单词或句子,只要翻译就行了。Okay, you get the idea. Okay, let's take a look at this code and see how it works. At first, I import the Google Generative AI package, the speech recognition package, the Google text-to-speech package, and also this I.O. package, the Pi game package, and date variable. So we're gonna use that in the name of our log file as we define over here. At first, we initialize the Pi game package, and then we define a generative AI model as Gemini. And we start the chart with AI. And over here, I define uh, some variables, such as the temperature and the maximum output tokens. This variable controls the length of the response from the AI. Over here, I define some safety settings so that we can get a response from the AI, no matter what kind of question we ask. And over here, I define a text-to-speech function. At first, we assign a buffer for the audio file, and then we convert the text to audio with the Google text-to-speech engine. And then we save that audio in the memory buffer here we defined in the beginning. And then we go back to the beginning of the buffer and, we, and then we play that audio file from the memory. And so once it's finished, we close that file. This will speed up the text-to-speech process. And uh, over here in this part, I define a log function. It will save all the conversation between AI and a user. I also define a variable here which sets the language we are going to speak with the AI and then this is our main function in which we will interact with the AI model. At first we define a speech recognizer and a microphone and we turn off the dynamic energy threshold and we instead define a static energy threshold of 400. This section here is really optional. I just want to tell AI uh, it only needs to translate the language instead of answering the questions. And uh, this is our while loop. And over here is true. So that means this while loop is going to be running all the time. So at first, we set the microphone as source 1. And then we adjust the energy threshold based on the ambient noise for 0 0.5 second. And then we record the speech from the user into this audio verb and then we convert the audio to the text with the Google speech recognizer. If the request is too short or nothing and the program will continue. If the request contains that's all, then that will be the end of the conversation. The AI will just say bye now. Otherwise, we will add this part into the beginning of the request and then ask AI to translate the request into Chinese. So once we get back from AI, we are going to have the text here in this variable here. And we print that text. And then we speak that text with the Google text-to-speech engine. So that's the whole program. I hope you learned something from this short video tutorial. Please check our GitHub page for the Python code and a detailed instruction on how to install the packages 
required for this code and how to run this code. Please leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe our channel as I have more videos coming up about AI and AI language models and uh, text-to-speech translation. That's all for today. Bye-bye.